Hello everyone, in this lesson we are going to start looking at trinomials. So what are trinomials? They typically look like this. You will have three terms, so one, two, three. The, you'll have something that has a power of two, something that is just a power of one, like an x, and then there'll be a number by itself. So a few other examples would be something like this, I don't only have to use x, I could use a, I could even use y. See, so it has to have a something to the power of 2, then a normal y, and then a number by itself. Those are called trinomials. So this is not a trinomial, because that's got two terms. This is not a trinomial, although it's got three terms, a typical trinomial is x squared, x, and then a number by itself. Of course there are exceptions, but for now, this is not a trinomial. All right, so here's our first trinomial that we're going to look at because we need to know how to factorize this. So what we do is we look at this number at the end, and that's a 4. So we write out all the factors of 4. So four, you could say 4 is equal to 4 times 1, or you could use 2 times 2. We now look at this number over here, and we think to ourselves, could I make the number minus 3 using 4 and 1, or should I rather use 2 and 2? Well, 2 and 2 will never make minus 3. You could say 2 minus 2, you could say 2 plus 2, you're never going to get to minus 3. However, if you use 4 and 1, you could get to minus 3. How? Well, if we add them, that's not going to work. If we, minus, if we say 4 minus 1, that's 3. If we say 1 minus 4, that's minus 3. Oh, and that's what we wanted. So we want 1 minus 4. So what we do is we open up two brackets where you put x and x, and you put the 1 and the 4, and then we said that the 4 must be minus, and then the 1 is positive, because 1 minus 4 is minus 3. And this will be the answer for that trinomial. Now it might seem a bit weird at the moment, but we're going to keep practicing. That's how it always works. So let's look at this one. So we look at the number 10. Now 10 can be 10 times 1. It could be 5 times 2. Now which of those combinations, either this top one or this bottom one, could make minus 7? Well, definitely a 5 and a 2. How though? Well, 5 minus 2, that's 3. That's not going to work. 2 minus 5 is minus 3. 5 plus 2 is 7 minus 5 minus 2 is minus 7. Oh, and that's what we want. We want minus 7. So we open up two brackets, x and x, and then we put minus 5 and minus 2. In the previous lesson, we always had a minus and a plus, but that's a different technique. That's called difference of squares. With trinomials, you could have a plus and a plus, a minus and a plus, a minus and a minus, a plus and a minus. It doesn't matter as long as you make this number in the middle. Okay, but Kevin, how do I know that this actually works? Okay, well, let's multiply this out. So x times x is x squared. Then x times 2 is minus 2x. Then these two gives you minus 5x. And then those would give you plus 10. Now, in the middle, you would have minus 2 minus 5, which is minus 7x plus 10. And so look, we get back to the original. Maybe you're starting to understand this already. Maybe you can try this one yourself. So what we do is we look at the number 8. 8 is the same as 8 times 1 or 2 times 4. I know that with an 8 and a 1, I could definitely make minus 7. The way I would do it is by having minus 8 plus 1, because minus 8 plus 1 is equal to minus 7. I then open up my two brackets, and I use x and x, and then it's minus 8 plus 1. Here's another one. So the number 11 is 11 times 1, and that's all. Now, 11 and a 1 can make minus 10, because a minus 11 plus 1 gives minus 10. So we open up the two brackets, and we say x minus 11, and x plus 1. Here's another one. So we look at 25, and we know that that is only 5 times 5. How can I use 5 and a 5 to make minus 10? Well, if you minus both of them, and you can use your calculator to practice that, minus 5 minus 5 is minus 10. So then we open up our two brackets. We say x and x, and it's minus 5 and minus 5. Okay, so with this one, we look at the number 45, and we say that that's 45 times 1. 
3 times 15 and 9 times 5. So we know that 9 and 5 could make minus 4. How? Well, if we said 9 minus 5, that's positive 4. We don't want that. But if we switch it around, then you get minus 4, and that's what you want. So you open up your two brackets, and you get x and x. The 5 is positive, and the 9 is negative, like that. I hope that by now you're starting to see how this works. If not, keep watching. We're going to keep practicing. Okay, here we go. So we look at the number 50. Well, that's 50 times 1, 2 times 25, 5 times 10, yeah, and that's about it. Now, 5 and 10 can make minus 5. How? Well, if I say 10 minus 5, that won't work because that's 5. But if I say 5 minus 10, that does work because that's minus 5. So I open up two brackets and I get x and x. The 5 is positive and the 10 is negative. So there we have it. Here's another one. So we look at 8. 8 is the same as 8 times 1 or 2 times 4. 2 and 4 can make 6. Easy. 2 plus 4. So we open up our brackets, we say x and x, we say plus 2, plus 4, done. We look at the number 12, and that's 3 times 4, or 2 times 6, or 1 times 12. 2 and 6 can make minus 8, how? By minusing both of them. You can type that in on the calculator, and that is minus 8. So we open up our brackets, and we say x and x, we say minus 2, minus 6. 15 is the same as 15 times 1 or 5 times 3. 15 and a 1 can definitely make minus 14. How? You could say minus 15 plus 1 because that does give you minus 14. So we open up two brackets and we say x and x and we have minus 15 plus 1. Now if we get something like this, this is not a trinomial. But what we should always remember to do is to see what you can take out first. Now in these three terms you can take out x because this one has 3, this one has 2, and this one has 1. So you take out an x and you'd be left with x squared minus 11x minus 12. Now, this part inside here is a trinomial. So let's do that on the side over here. And so we look at the number 12, and that can be 12 times 1, or 3 times 4, or 2 times 6. 12 and 1 can make minus 11 by saying minus 12 plus 1. So we open up our two brackets, and we say x and x, we say minus 12 plus 1. You see, so you always want to try factorize first. Always. Why didn't I do that in the previous trinomials? Because I had already designed them in such a way that you couldn't take anything out. So here we go, in, this, in these three terms you can take out an x squared, because that's, there's, that's got two x's, that's got three, and that's got four. So we take out an x squared, and then you're left with x squared minus 3x minus 4. This is a trinomial. So what we do is we look at the number 4, and that is 4 times 1, or 2 times 2. A 4 and a 1 could make minus 3. How? By my saying minus 4 plus 1. So we leave the x squared on the outside, we open up our two brackets, we say x and x, and then we say minus 4 plus 1. And there we go guys, that is your introduction to trinomials. If you're feeling overwhelmed or you're a bit confused, you just need to keep watching. Trust me, I've been in your same position, I struggled with maths in grade 9 but I now know how to get over it. All you do is you keep practicing, you keep watching, you keep watching, put the phone away, keep watching and keep practicing. All of a sudden, things are gonna start making sense. That is how life works, okay?